It's Tuesday, March 2nd, and we are reading Mark 7, 14 and 15 today. Thanks for coming by. Today's story is deeply connected with our passages from yesterday. Here, Jesus calls to himself the crowd. The lesson he just gave to the Pharisee, he now gives to all, this time in the form of a parable. Now, I'd actually like to invite you to consider pausing right now and go to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5. I want you to read verses 27 through 30. How does Jesus say such things? He is, of course, explaining the truth behind the commandments in this very well-known Sermon on the Mount. But are we really to cut off our eyes and hands and legs and all that which causes us to sin? At first glance, yes might seem like the right answer, but it can't really be, can it? Of course not. Jesus also said, There is nothing outside a person that by going into him can defile him, but the things that come out of a person are what defile him. Your eye or hand or leg or foot, none of those things cause sin, but the posture of the heart does. As Jesus explains the act of adultery in Matthew 5, he does so by saying the adultery was committed in the heart. So friend, how is your heart? Is it near to God? Is it filled with fear, love, and trust for God? Is your heart hard? Is it puffed up? However you answer, I encourage you to make this verse a prayer you commit to memory this week. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Be led by Jesus. Happy reading.